Hi there, this is Susan Blue Robot from SusanBlueRobot.com. I'm here today with another project um, video. Uh, uh, this time I'm going to do Gazebo. And we're using Make the Cuts Pop Up Card Studio, and then we'll go on to make the cut as well. This is the Gazebo I came up with. It's, uh, this is a double pop up meaning that the uh, little um, bench seat is from my bench seat instruction video and you can do that and it pops in behind here and I won't be doing the seat today because I've already done the seat so we will just be doing the outside these um, vines are wrapped around one side and another down as we go. So we will start by a project of 5 inches by 5 inches and first off we go to a bottom plane so I hit the space bar and I want a plane of 0. Now I'm starting from the bottom up and I bring in arch step do seven steps so we'll go down to seven and we'll go split mirror that means whatever we do with the arch steps over this side it repeats over this side so we'll move this up for your view and we'll click here on a snapping of a quarter of inch click there out to here and you click in the center and that mirrors on that side so then we click off that and we go well so that's what the shape of our gazebo is going to be and we do a copy of that we do here and then we go up to a plane of three and we do a paste in place then we do an inward shadow of that of 0.6 and we go accept now what we need to do is have this back bit filled in this will stretch this back so it's at the back and make sure it's on that back plane yes okay so now we do a copy of that and then what we do is we select those both and we do a boolean join difference and apply then we go up to a plane of 3.25 do a paste then we do an inward shadow of that one go accept and we pull that back it's take the snapping off and we can pull that back hopefully so it's at the back of the plane and then we do a copy of that one then we do a copy I'll do a copy of that one we select both of them and we do a boolean join difference apply then we go up to a plane of 3.5 we do a paste in place then we do a inward shadow accept we pull this back make sure it's at the back of the plane and we do select those both do a boolean join difference apply and before we do that we do a copy of this one copy and then we do the boolean join and apply and then we go up to a plane 
of 3.75 we do a paste in place and so now we have a roof we've got to put the anchors on but at least we've built that up to that point now so it goes up 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 okay now I hit the space bar and what we do is we now do the snapping of an eighth of an inch we zoom in here and I pan down so you can see it move it around so you can all see it and we go two point rec I'm just trying to get the fronts two point rec and we don't do that front one okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and build from the back outwards with the with the auto rack two point rack and the split mirror I'm going to do the two point rack on this side and it'll appear on the next and we go down this side um, to get to the next one in line you use the shift control and your mouse wheels and it'll go to the next one we're going to leave this bottom bit for the moment we don't take anything down to the bottom at the moment do this one Something's wrong on this one. We'll select both of them and we'll cut them and we'll do that again with the two point rec. That's better. And we'll just continue till we build the roof anchors down to the one below it control shift mouse wheel roll we select both of them and do a weld on that back to auto quad not the bottom one we've done that I haven't done this one back here so we just roll back to find that one and we go bing bing okay so that's our roof all finished and ready now we're going to build now we put this one in down here is because if you see my example I made it a double pop-up meaning that I wanted this all free behind here now what we need to do is we need to get to this first here down to here and we come forward to forward this is where we're going to have the doorway Here. so this is what we have the gazebo without the um, fence around it yet this is the door opening and now what we'll do is we now go to the bottom plane and we go to a plane of 1.5 no we go to a plane of say 1 so that's one inch from the bottom up and what we're going to do 
is we're going to build a arch steps we'll still stick with the seven and we'll say go from there out foot to about there so what we're doing is we're building so we can put the the little these things one two three around there so now what we need to do is we need to do a shadow of that what I'm, uh, yeah what I might do is join them go join do an inward shadow of say say 3.4 cause now what we have is we now also want to on this plane we want to use now auto quad we want to go from there to the very edge go enter go from there to the edge of that one there we go enter so what I've done is I've built filled in the space from here to there you can do a rewind to see what I've done there so I have three pieces this outer piece part to fill in this spot here and a square to fill in this rectangle to fill in this spot here with them selected we do a weld and with everything selected we do a boolean join difference apply so now what we have is if we do a print preview we're hoping that this here and this here on both sides will be joined to these struts going up and we do a print preview and they're not that's easy fixed right so I zoom in here and I, I take them down take the snapping off we take them down till we think that they join you can pan around that's that's the good thing about it is we'll now do a print preview with that and it's still not but I'll tell you what we're going to do if this is over Let's bring the transparency down a bit. We'll take this a little bit bigger. So it's hanging out at the back. And we hope that this one's hanging out at the back. So what I'm going to do now is this is a good way to fix things. Is we're going to come from the back in click now hopefully that print preview should show that they're now anchored there and anchored there now we've got to get this back this front bit done 
so if you if you make it further out from the anchor you come from back from behind and you do a crop up to where you want it to anchor to let's put the transparency up a bit so I can see these and what I need to do now is I can come from the front of this I've got the dotted line if you pan it in so you can see it you can do a cut now what I've done is this side's right I can't get the other side right so I'll show you a trick instead of messing around with this too much and I know it can be done but I want to show you in case you just have trouble doing it too is we go to that plan we go break apart break apart yep okay then we click off that don't throw that one away for a moment take this one to a copy paste mirror then Turn the snapping off to take it over. Use the arrow keys to take it over. Pan around. Love it. To move that one down, and we take the top one. No, we take the top one here and throw that away. So now by rights, if I do a print preview, they both are working. You've got the score lines here and the score lines in the front. And that's a good thing to remember that you don't always have to try and get the two sides right. If you want the two sides the same, you do a copy and then a flip and move it into place with just your arrow arrow keys I'll leave that on snapping now what you do is we put a two point rec in our fencing we go on every second one And you just keep using the, the the control shift and rolling your mouse down until you get to the ones that you want. It'll go through them all. And there you have your fence. Now what we'll do is we'll show you what you have so far. You have your roof with your struts here and your little fence coming out from it. So if I was to put this on that sort of angle, zoom in and we'll do a virtual snapshot of that. You'll see that we have our gazebo looking like a gazebo. We check print preview that we have score lines going across here, score lines going at the top of each struts, and score at here, here, here. And so now what we can do is we can now take that, save that. And we can go gas C O O one and now what we can do we 
project render to SVG. Casebo. And we go yes. Now, go over to make the cut. And we go, we should want to bring that in. We get it. And that's what we have. Our gazebo ready to cut. We go to each its own. And say we'll turn this to white. Because I want to show you something now. That's your pop-up card already to cut. Then you end up with the raw pop-up white. You do the background and the background here like I do my background video which is help 012 it's called backgrounds for my cards so you'll do that then it's just a matter of doing these fun little things that go down now I had to stop and think now how was I going to do this at first I just glued little stripes down here and it looks silly and I just put leaves all down it didn't look right so I'll show you how I got that since I have time and what you do is I zoom in here a bit I need I lock that one lock that one lock that one on a new page I get a Pencil. To, uh, what I do is I get a Bezier tool, click here, click there, and I go up. I can come back and tweak all this. So I go all the way up to the top and end there with a right click. Now I do note editing. This one I need to bring out this way a bit. I need to have it so I've got enough room to wrap around the piece when it's done. But not too much like this one. And this one, otherwise it'll be over the entrance way. Let's still bring that one in a bit. And that looks about right. Now what I need to do is shape that a bit. So I pull my handles down, give it a bit of shaping. I just go along. Don't make them all the same. They're all, it's like a vine growing up around it. And until you start wrapping them around your gazebo struts, you're not going to know which one's the front and which one's the back. Of course, you'll start with this one being the very front of your gazebo because this one's got to end up half over the roof. Then what you do is with that line, you select that line, and then you want to do a shadow of that. And you want to do a shadow of maybe 1.25 millimeters and go accept and throw keep the shadow and throw away the first one so here we have our shape just make sure in here 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 there is clearance here 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 and here there's clearance now we bring in a leaf and we find a font that's foliage and 
we check which leaf we want. We pick a leaf, um, might pick this one, we double click on that and bring it in. And we make that small enough to not look out of place and we turn it. So then we go along putting leaves using the control shift adding a leaf here and there on this side. Now oh that was the other thing. This one's going to be in front So we put, this one's going to be behind, this one's going to be in front, so we make sure that there's make sure that there's a leaf on here, we'll do a mirror of that. We put a leaf on there and we do a flip of that, we put two leaves on this one. So every second one, every one that's going on this angle, we want leaves on. So I hold the control and shift and I go down, put a leaf on here then turn it, make sure they're overlapping and you just put them where you think they need to be. Do a con shift on this, select them, do control shift to do a, a copy of them, move them around Make sure they're overlapping your vine. Select them, do control shift. And there we have something on each of the vine that's coming out the front. Now we select all of them by clicking over here, select all, or you could go over here and select all. And we go weld. So then what we need now is we need to cut one, two, three, four of these. So we do two on that way and then we do a copy, paste and a mirror. So we've got two for one side and two for the other. So what you'll do is you'll cut out your pop-up as normal. Do your backgrounds if need be. You can do your double pop-up which is a, another lesson of I've even done help number 16, 016 and PCS 013 and I'm pretty sure they're the ones that I have there. I also have in a webinar have a pop up, double pop up of an Easter egg. So you can check out the double pop ups on there and you just put your card together and of course I made the bench seat which is a for the inside which is PCS 018 and then I'd love to see your creations you can decorate with whatever you like, make it all fancy, have things in it like a bride and a groom, anything like that. It's endless what you can do and I hope you have fun and I hope this helps. This has been Susan Blue Robot at SusanBlueRobot.com and if you'd like to purchase either Make the Cut or Pop Up Card Studio, if you click from a link from my blog. It will help support my blog.